Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see down in the title, boom, boom, boom. Yes, a Base Canyon honest review. And this time with music festival goers that went to Base Canyon, just like me other videos. I think this is just so much more practical as again, I'm a Canadian music festival goer that obviously you cannot just go to every event. You have to pick and choose. So I thought it was a great idea to bring in music festival goers again to this video. Um, they have great introductions for themselves. I'm gonna just reintroduce them in the video. And if you haven't done so yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button somewhere. Give this video a thumbs up if you're already liking it and comment down below. If you were at Base Canyon, what was your favorite set? And what was the coolest thing that you saw at Base Canyon? I've always heard so many great things about Base Canyon. I wish I could go but I haven't yet, maybe in the near future. Anyways, let's get to the video. Let's introduce everyone that's in this video. So starting off, we're going to start off with Michaela, AKA M Gloria RN. She is my lovely twin sister. She has TikTok, she has Instagram, and also she has YouTube. I'll give you guys her links right over here. So here's her review. I think she does a really good job of really going into detail of Base Canyon. She really, really wanted to go over that. So thank you, Twin, for doing this. Thank you, thank you. And I hope you guys enjoy her review. Hey, everybody. It's Michaela, also known as M. Gloria RN, if you guys want to follow me on YouTube or on Instagram. So today, I'm going to be doing a Base Canyon review for my sister, Gabriella. And I guess we can start off with um, talking about the ticket prices. So for Base Canyon for three days, I believe the ticket prices were around, let me take a look at my email. It's a, It was around 450 CAD. So it's actually pretty good for 450 Canadian because I've gone to other festivals like EDC and Ultra, and those are just like way out of my price range when it comes to tickets. So I thought it was perfectly priced for a three-day festival. And as well as um, in terms of camping, my camp group, um, we stayed at Terrace Camping. We did it because there's just a lot of more pros for that Terrace Camping. And I, th I think it's probably the best campsite out of all the other campsites there in the gorge. And mind you, um, the Terrace Camping site is hosted by another company and not directly from Base Canyon. So I think Terrace Camping itself was 1.4K Canadian. And honestly, it's worth the money. We get our own shuttles there and back from the event venue. We don't have to walk that long walk from GA. Um, we also get donuts and coffee for free. Our washrooms are freaking amazing. If you're terrified of like portables or nasty showers, like Terrace Camping makes it feel like you're legit in a hotel. Like it's actually pretty good. I don't feel like I'm camping at all. And also you get a, an amazing view of the gorge itself. So there's a bonus there. And as well as um, in terms of security. So in terms of camp security, I was kind of a little disappointed, actually disappointed but really grateful that it was very strict. So my camp group, we didn't arrive until Thursday night, actually technically Friday morning. So we arrived at like 1 to 2 a.m. and we lined up for security. And unfortunately for security, it took us like two or three hours. And by the time we got to our camp, it was already like 4, 4.30 a.m. And I guess they were just being very thorough. There was like security dogs, there was security. They came into our RV and assessed everything, which I thought was pretty safe. Again, I think I was just cranky at that point. So I just really wanted to move into the campsite and just rest. But yeah, pros and cons in terms of security. And in terms of security into Base Canyon, um, I thought they did a pretty good job um, before going into the venue. Like they'll take you, uh, they'll make you like open your pack, make sure everything's empty, um, make sure your bladder, water bladder is empty, make sure that there's nothing that's um, not listed in the prohibited items is that you're carrying and stuff. Actually, I think they did a pretty good job. Um, I don't know, security always varies from person to person. So yeah, like wherever, um, Terrace gets their own security line. So because Terrace gets their own security line, like it's pretty fast to get into security. Um, in terms of safety, I think overall, I thought that um, Base Canyon, oh my God, um, Base Canyon did a pretty good job in terms of um, having first aid on hand. I saw what at one point, I remember being at the top of the hill and um, 
there was first aid helping a person like ASAP. And I really appreciate that. I feel that nowadays, like there's just so much more first aiders, volunteers um, there to help those maybe who OD'd or heat stroke or whatever. Or So I really think that nowadays Base Canyon, I guess in the Base Canyon, that event, particular event, they did a really good job in terms of safety. Um, in terms of the venue itself, Honestly, the Gorge as a venue is probably one of my favorite. Actually, no, it's my favorite venue for a festival. I've gone to multiple different venues in different areas, like in the States, in um, Canada. And I always say that the Gorge is my favorite just because of the nature view itself. It's just so beautiful. It's amazing to see how beautiful the canyon is. And in terms of production, I was very surprised with Base Canyon. I've gone to a few festivals, different festivals in the Gorge, and some of the production value in terms of how companies run it, it can be a little iffy. I'm just like, oh, that's it. But for Base Canyon, they did a really great job with adding, um, adding like activities in the venue. They added like more merchant, um, mer merchant tents. Um, they added like decorations. I really enjoy the rides. There was one that was like a free fall ride. I didn't go on that because I'm scared of heights, but they also had a Ferris wheel. So it kind of felt like EDC vibes. And I really appreciate that because I feel like um, I feel like my money or the money that I paid for Base Canyon was worth it in terms of prices for food and drinks. So I think that's mainly hosted by um, the Gorge venue itself. Honestly, probably one of the best prices when it comes to buying food in a festival because if you go to EDC, you'd be buying like a $20 pack of fries and it's not even worth your money. Whereas here in the Gorge, like it'll be like $11 for a huge pack of fries. So, and they have a plethora of um, different food um, selections. So if you're picky, uh, there's a lot of food there as well as water stations. There was a lot of water stations around, so I never thought that um, I would go empty with water. And also in terms of water stations, there were so many that I never had to like wait for a lineup or wait in the lineup for a long time. And then in terms of, I guess the most exciting part for me to talk about is like the artist. Um, I was pretty, like I was pretty amazed with Base Canyon. like. I never thought that Base Canyon would have a wide range of genres. I'm very picky when it comes to seeing shows. Like I don't, I usually go to a show based on the lineup alone. Again, I bought my ticket early in February. So I was kind of nervous to see who it was or to see which artists were playing at Base Canyon. Because again, like I find that I enjoy the festival better if I know the DJs, if I actually like the music. I mean, I don't mind learning new music. I really enjoy that as well. I like discovering new artists, but sometimes when it's just a niche genre that I don't enjoy, sometimes I can't enjoy it as much. But oh my gosh, the lineup for Bass Canyon, looking back at like 2018 all the way to now, I thought this lineup was probably the best aligned to like what I enjoyed. Like I was amazed by the fact that this bass festival had like a plethora of bass subgenres in it. I really enjoyed how they had like hard style in it. Um, they had bass house artists. They even had a lot of trap artists. Like they also had like heavy bass artists. Uh, I was just really appreciative of that. And then as well as they had Haleen singing for one hour. Like I enjoyed the fact that there was side trance in a bass festival. Like I just really, really enjoyed it. And overall, like probably I was amazed by the fact that Grizz, Grizz literally came to Base Canyon because he was probably the artist that I really wanted to see the most. Basically, I came to Base Canyon feeling like he would come. And then after that, knowing that he actually was coming, honestly, that was like the only artist I really wanted to see. But the Excision BTB Subtronics, oh my gosh, that was a freaking insane BTB. Like, I honestly thought there was a lot of Subtronics influence in that BTB, but not gonna lie, that was super great. I thought day one, day two, day three was overall amazing. So yeah, um, would I go again to Base Canyon? I think I would go again to Base Canyon depending on the artist. I don't know, I only went the first time around 
for the experience just because everyone kept saying you need to try at least one base canyon which i think the first time around like it like amazed me like i i love the experience but i don't know if i go a second time around i think it really depends on the artist because if it is if it's the same artist over and over i don't know if i'd really enjoy it um and was it worth it i honestly think base canyon is probably one of the most worth it festivals that i've been to like not gonna lie like for the amount that i paid for it's so worth it and i think for anyone who hasn't gone at least try one base canyon because it freaking knocked my head out of the park like i literally was amazed day one two and three i ex i literally went with low expectations and by the end of day three i was like what it just finished and I was just like, damn, that was like probably one of the most fun festivals that I've ever been to. I really enjoyed the music. I enjoyed the production. The lasers were insane. But yeah, my dog's barking and I think I got to go. Anyways, bye. Here is Matthew, AKA Hot Sauce Matt. He is a TikToker. He's on Instagram as well and a YouTuber. Please give him a round of applause for giving this amazing review and I hope you guys enjoy his review as well. What's up guys, my name is Matt. I'm a content creator here in Vancouver. You might recognize me from TikTok or YouTube from my vlogs, but I basically create content on festivals and raves. I was asked to do a sort of festival review for Base Canyon. So this is my review. I only went to day three. It was sort of a last minute decision for me. I got FOMO from uh, watching all my friends at Base Canyon day one and day two. So I told myself that I needed to go, at least for that surprise back-to-back -back set, because I really love Subtronics and it was leaked that Excision was doing a back-to-back -back with Subtronics, so that's why I really wanted to go. I ended up paying 150 Canadian for a wristband, which I thought was pretty fair and reasonable for like a big festival like Base Canyon and it's like at the Gorge Amphitheater. The only issue is, is it was like a five hour this drive to drive down but you know 150 I thought was was a pretty good deal on top of that the wristband was VIP so 150 for a VIP wristband I thought it was pretty worth it I got to use all the perks uh, when we walked in the lineup to get in the GA lineup was quite long I was pretty surprised at the VIP there was like no line so we just like walked right through security was I think normal but they had the metal detectors they checked the bags um, yeah, it was pretty standard security. Besides, like, this is apart from the security team, but at this festival, because it is an excision festival, I found the excision team to be very good, like a very good addition to the sort of festival scene there. Aside from Somniac, who has like their own team that focuses on safety and like the well-being of their attendees, I feel like excision's uh, group just goes above and beyond. I see them passing out water, checking up on people if they're okay, making sure everyone's having a good time, dancing with people. I really think Excision really cares for the people that attend his events. And I've gotten, I've noticed that from uh, Base Canyon last year, Thunderdome this year, and Base Canyon this year. And every one of those events, his team has just been phenomenal. So big ups to Excision for that. I love that. Very plur, it was, it was awesome. Merch, I didn't I didn't really have an interest in buying merch because I was trying to save money, but I guess I sort of spent it on the, on the ticket itself. But uh, prices, I think, were pretty fair. It's pretty expensive overall, but it's, as you'd expect for a festival, I bought a Modelo and it was 16 US dollars. So that's like, what, $22 Canadian, $21 Canadian. So it gets, it's pretty insane. But I mean, at, at a festival, it's, it's just something you have to deal with. The production though is insane. Like you don't get this level of production anywhere in Canada. Like Veld is pretty good production for a Canadian festival. Like Excision is known for lasers, right? and Base Canyon at the Gorge Amphitheater with all the lasers there and all the stages. All three stages have lasers, which is crazy. Um, and the fireworks and the visuals. <sighs> Excision just knows how to put on a show. Like if you haven't been to an Excision show before, you definitely have to, like his own show. I'm not talking about like him playing at Faded or him playing at Stacked. You have to go to like one of his festivals, Thunderdome, Base Canyon, Lost Lands, and I feel like it's just a whole different experience. I think it's just amazing. The venue layout, well, the Gorge Amphitheater is amazing uh, venue. You get a whole like scenery of the Gorge Amphitheater. But the thing is that when I went, uh, it was pretty cloudy and foggy and smoky because of the wildfires at Kelowna. So that was pretty bad. Venue layout, the Gorge Amphitheater, it's really nice. It's quite intimate, but at the same time, there's enough space 
to go explore and walk around. There's a mini like robot, the excision robot. The second stage is like a five minute walk, five to 10 minute walk away, but it is uphill. The only thing with the gorge that it is an incline slash decline, whenever you're going to like the pit or you're going up to like use the, the washroom or go to a ride or go to another stage, it's quite, it's quite a trek going down up the hill, but at least it's all pretty close together. Um, but the venue layout was amazing. The, you can, the Ferris wheel overlooks the gorge and all three stages. Um, the elevator overlooked the starlight stage and the hilltop stage. That's really nice too. So yeah, overall the venue layout was really good. Also like the vendors, like it was all in this like little area as well. So like the food, uh, merch, drinks, all that stuff over there is, has its own like little area too, which is pretty nice. Base Canyon this year for me was absolutely incredible. I have no regrets going. 150 Canadian for a VIP, I thought is incredibly worth it, especially for the experience that I got out of it. I would 100% do it again. Definitely, if you haven't been to Base Canyon and you're interested, I highly recommend you go. I would recommend camping if you can. It is three days, or you can just do what I did and try and look for a wristband. Uh, for like one day, see how you like it. That's what I did both last year and this year. Honestly, like this year was incredible. 10 out of 10, just because of the production, the crowd and the experience I had, it was amazing. And yeah, Excision really knows how to put on a show. So that was my review. Hope to see you around. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hair change, plot twist. <laughs> Anyways, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Bayes Canyon review. Hopefully you guys will check out Bayes Canyon next year. Maybe I'll go. Who knows? I will never know what festival plans will be happening as, you know, a lot of things right now are just so expensive. And realistically, as a Canadian music festival goer, you know, money's tight here. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.